Hello and welcome to our channel, Tech Expert Tutorials. In this video, you will learn how to extract text from videos and images, aka OCR, using the PyTesseract open source library. PyTesseract is built on Google Tesseract, a command line application written in the C, C++ language. That's a topic for another video. We're also going to use the OpenCV package to pre-process images. See our video on OpenCV for more details on how to use this package. When working with PyTesseract, OpenCV is not actually required, but it can significantly enhance the accuracy and reliability of your optical character recognition results. This is the fourth video on our series about text extraction using OCR technology. The first three covered OCR services from the three cloud computing leaders, GCP, Azure, and AWS. Okay, let's get started. This is the video we will be processing with our OCR application. There are some credits at the beginning. We will try to capture the first frame that contains text strings that match with the words template, presents, and production. And this is the driver's license we will be processing. First, we need to install the Google Tesseract application. This can be found on the GitHub repo for Tesseract. Link is in the description below. After the installation finishes, we will need to add the path to the application to the path environment variable. Here is the full set of setup instructions. Next, we need to set up our Python environment with these conda commands. If you are unfamiliar with conda, please see our video on Python, conda, and VS Code. Link in the description below. This is a link to the video we will process. Then we import the necessary libraries. We have a list of text strings we will be looking for in the video, and since we are looking for credits, we include several related strings. Here, we point to the location that we saved the sample video. We use the OpenCV video capture function to capture the video to an OpenCV object. Then we read from that object into a frame, checking if we are successful, meaning there are more frames. We initialize a frame counter. Then we extract frames from the video, one frame at a time, convert the color to grayscale to boost the accuracy, as it is easier for the model to parse grays instead of RGB colors. Then we extract the text from the image using image to string. Note the PSM setting value of six. The table below shows the meaning of each possible value you can use. Then we look for a match between the data that was extracted and the list of strings we created above. We want to find anything that looks like a movie credit. While this is running, we show the frames and the matched string. We find the first occurrence of a match, then we save the frame to an image. Next, we load an image of a driver's license, which can be difficult to read as there are different fonts, no overall structure to the words, and some background noise. We convert the image to a string using PyTesseract and print out the extracted text. We will try a few different page segment modes to show you how to use this parameter. Three is the default. When the accuracy is low, a common solution is to try using different OpenCV functions to pre-process the image. Here, we try to reduce the image noise. Now, we will run the notebook, one cell at a time. We run the imports and create the list of credit items. We read the first frame of the video. Then we loop through each frame, looking for the matches between extracted text and our list. This will take a few minutes to run. It's finished. Let's look at the images for the frames with the text that match. Looks like good accuracy, and the credits are just beginning to fade into view. Processing the driver's license image next. PyTesseract found a name and address. This is an exact match with the image. Now we try a different PSM value. The accuracy is lower, so it's not a good PSM value for this. We'll try a few more options, none of which are better than the first run. We try to convert this image, but this time it didn't help like it did with the video frames. Finally, we try the noise reduction. The accuracy for these conversions is low, below 50%, due to the issues we mentioned earlier. Your success with any of these depends on several factors. PyTesseract is meant for simple, easy to read images and is open source, so it is free. If you want a more powerful and accurate OCR application, check out my videos on OCR solutions from GCP, Google Cloud, Azure, and AWS, Amazon. Accuracy for these three is above 90%, even on the difficult driver's license example. 
Links to these videos are in the description below. That's all we have for today. Thank you for watching our video. See you next time.